everyone. Today we are going to talk a bit about one of the biggest retailers in the world, Amazon. 2018 was a blast for this corporate giant. In quarter two and quarter three, they were at second place in terms of net worth just behind Apple. Overall, through uh, 2018, uh, they made a revenue of almost $233 billion. And briefly, in that year, their market cap reached over the $1 trillion mark. Accordingly, their shares skyrocketed from $825 in early 2017 to almost double that amount at the end of 2018 while the biggest move was in 2018. But what can we expect in 2019 from this giant and most importantly, their stock price? Now, I believe that in 2019, the company's growth will slow down, which will lead to a drop in the price of their stocks. Now, there are three major issues ahead of the company which I would like to discuss briefly and then we'll check also uh, the technical part, basically the chart of the stocks and what we can expect. I believe uh, most of you already heard that Jeff Bezos and his wife are going through a divorce after 25 years of marriage. Uh, they got married in, back in 1993 and in 1994 they founded Amazon uh, when uh, Jeff Bezos' wife was actually the first official employee of the company. Now, the question ahead is how do you basically divide such a huge giant? As you know, Jeff Bezos cheated on his wife and uh, now she wants to divorce him, so both of them hired basically an army of lawyers and although they want to remain sort of business partners inside of Amazon, I don't think that a divorce will go well, uh, especially of that magnitude and I expect it to affect the company and of course the stock prices of Amazon. The second important thing worth mentioning here is the ambitions of the company to build their headquarters in New York. This is one of the densest cities in terms of population in America and of course a city with a lot of buying power. But those ambitions got rejected. As a corporate giant and a retailer, uh, we expect to have some issues when using Amazon in terms of delivery, system, uh, support, etc. But uh, if you go through their Twitter, Amazon Help, or through other forums and boards, social boards, uh, you can see that there are a lot of complaints from customers. Although Amazon is uh, still managing to uh, help those people and uh, you know surpass those issues. I believe that at one point this will catch up with the company and There will be even bigger issues for them. Now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart What you currently see on your screens is the weekly uh, time frame chart of Amazon stocks you can see how uh, the stock basically skyrocketed in 2018. Then at the end of 2018, we had a small drop back from the uh, $2,000 mark until the uh, $1,330 mark where uh, this drop was rejected and the price uh, made a new swing up reaching to the $1,700 mark. Now currently uh, the stock price is standing at uh, $1,620 mark. You can see during that skyrocket uh, how the earnings increased uh, basically from uh, this 2017, so from January 2018 when they were 3.75. Uh, in April they were 3.27, a small drop uh, which was affected the price of course and then in, two, in July 2018, they skyrocketed to 5.07, which is a huge rise. 
it's 100% rise. Then in October 2018, they rose another almost 90% to 5.75. Now, this year, the expected earnings in um, April are uh, 4.65, but uh, due to all the issues, uh, which we already mentioned, I expect those earnings to be lower, which will uh, ultimately affect the stock price and I expect it to go further down. Uh, most likely the stock price will reach back to that 1330 mark or it can actually even go lower, reaching to the $1,000 mark. But we'll wait and we'll see. This is it guys, thanks for watching, remember to follow us, to subscribe to our channel and to join our trade discussion group where you can post your trades so we can comment on them. Get our advice absolutely for free and don't forget, have fun out there.